Today's video is going to teach you how to beat man-to-man -man coverage in the Madden NFL Gaming Series. What's up guys, my name is Cody. Uh, for those of you guys who do not know, our YouTube channel is devoted to, to making you better at Madden 16. We're devoted to developing you as gamers and creating you as leaders to uh, change your own personal game. So uh, guys, real quick, a couple of information things before we get into this video. Uh, the reason we're in Madden 13 and not in Madden 16 in this video is because my PlayStation 4 gaming system actually broke and I had to purchase a new one. So because of that, uh, we're going to be doing some of these videos out of Madden 13 uh, for the next couple of days and I want to basically give you some concepts some things that can apply break down some plays um, that are in Man NFL 16 and they're also in Man 13 and I think this is going to be a cool opportunity for us to to kind of have something that kind of goes and you could see how the progression of the game even though the game changes every year there's certain aspects that do stay the same and and one of those things is beating man-to-man -man coverage so uh, in preparing for uh, writing our St. Louis Rams offensive ebook which should be coming out soon guys I'll have a little bit more information once I get the new console, we had to push it back a little bit because of that. But um, in preparation for some of the material I'm writing in that e-guide, uh, I was looking and see, trying to see some base, you know, some good football coaches and, and kind of see what they said about beating man-to-man -man coverage. One of the constant things that came up was the shotgun bunch formation. Uh, that's, that, that was one of the constant, constant things that I, I read in articles uh, across the board. And uh, the other thing that, that really came up a lot in the discussion in terms of beating man-to-man -man coverage was motion snaps um, to, to kind of get them off of the press. It was motion snaps, it was uh, bunch formation, and then it was also uh, having having matchups, you know, good, creating good matchups. And, and, and also the final one, creating natural picks and natural rubs where the defenders will kind of run into, each, one, run into one another uh, and, and, and really forcing the defense to, to make a decision. So uh, with all that in mind, guys, I wanted to break down a basic man-beating principle here from the shotgun bunch formation. Like I said, we're in Madden NFL 13. We're in the Arizona Cardinals playbook. Now, this play is in the same. It's in Arizona Cardinals playbook in Madden 16 as well. So you could utilize this concept. Um, it's in a lot of it's in a lot of different uh, it's, you know, it's in a lot of different playbooks. But the play that we're going to be utilizing is the play uh, verticals. Now, verticals is a very simple uh, a very simple play uh, and, and we see it a lot and it's really a more more you know kind of designed to beat zone defense but we're going to utilize it to beat man and how we're going to do this is we're going to we're going to do a couple things so first we're going to put uh, Greg Jennings on a crossing pattern now the reason we're going to do this is because we're going to try to create a natural pick and rub between Jermichael Finley and Greg Jennings um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put James Starks here on a wheel pattern. The reason we're going to put him on a wheel route is because we're going to try to clear out the middle of the field so that when Greg Jennings crosses, it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and, uh, and then they'll have room to run after the catch. And then the third thing we're going to do is we're going to put Greg Jennings in motion. So we're going to motion him uh, to the inside, and we're going to snap it before he sets so that we get him moving. So we're going to move him outside, and then we're going to motion him in a couple steps, snap the ball, and you should see this drag route be effective for beating man-to-man -man coverage. Now, in Madden 16, this is going to work a little bit different, um, but the basic principle applies, and I want to show uh, a little picture here in instant replay. And, and, and what you're going to see here in this play is that Greg Jennings is open, but look who's also open, the, the guy off of the pick. And so the, when, this, when this play was really naturally picked and rubbed off one another, Jermichael Finley was able to get that separation and that we were talking about that separation vertically up the field because the linebacker got picked off by that drag crossing pattern. And so it's really a two-man read between those two routes is really what we're looking at here. But uh, the basic principle does apply. So here I want to show you I'm going to hit Jermichael Finley. We're going to run the same exact play here and run it the same way. Again, you're just going to motion Jennings in, and, and just before he sets, you're going to snap it. Here you see Jermichael Finley is going to toast man-to-man -to -man coverage, gets a nice one-on-one -on -one matchup, ends up breaking a tackle for a touchdown. Now this is very crucial and I hope you see what we're saying here. You see how this, you see how uh, Spikes gets picked off by this drag, and now we're able to hit this wheel route. So it's really just a two-man read. And 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 really, you know, we'll talk a little bit more about reads throughout because I want to talk about reads at some point with this because Madden 13 is really good for reading the defense for us. But the basic principle does apply here. That it's we're going to be looking to that safety on the top of the right side, and we're going to look and see who gets picked off. And oftentimes. Oftentimes, actually, Greg Jennings' route will will kind of develop and, and be open, 
in this situation, uh, we're actually getting some good looks to throw it to to throw it to Jermichael Finley. I want to also show this play here. So we're going to put Finley on a fade route, and this is going to show just a bit, another basic principle and keep Jennings on this drag route. This time we're not going to motion him. And what you should see here is he's going to come underneath. Well, that wasn't quite as good. We, we probably need to put him on a little motion snap uh, if we're smart here. Basically the same principle, but now Jennings is going to come, and there we see the pick. Okay, so there we see the pick, and, and it makes its... It, it, you know, this is what we're looking for when we talk developing man-beating routes. Watch what Jermichael Finley is able to do. He's able to make contact with his body on this corner. You see there's the contact right there. And now you see this window that we can throw the ball to Greg Jennings. Now I want to show you the play if we don't have that. So I just want to show you this. This is a pretty pretty popular little play here. Put the tight end on a slant and do something like this. And then I got to... See if I can. I want to clear. I want to clear this whole section out just to make a point here. So we're going to put a driver here on a streak, and this is what we're looking at. Now, if we face this kind of coverage, what you're going to see here is interception. There's no separation, and then the, the reason there's there's no separation. Let's see if I can get down here. The reason that there's no separation is because there's no there's no contact. Nobody's making contact. And so it's it's very simple. It's basically just a one on one matchup. And if and, and you're seeing this a lot in men sixteen this year, these one on one matchups you're losing because they made man coverage so much more effective. And what you're seeing here is you as you can see this there's nowhere to, you know, there's really nowhere for me to throw this this ball. Uh, it's because there's no contact because I didn't have my man beating principles. I didn't I didn't do what I needed to do in order to beat man to man coverage. That's the point. Um, you know, Madden 16 is is very effective for man coverage, and so we need to develop strategies to beat it. This play right here, verticals, with putting Jermichael Minley on a fade, or you know, in, in Madden 16, you know, you could put Donald Driver here, this X receiver, on uh, a slant. But it's really just something as simple as running the play verticals, and all you have to do is put Jennings on that drag. And this this is going to run right into him. They run right into each other because they're crossing paths. They're crossing paths and you're able to develop a nice read. So that's really what I wanted to, to kind of cover here. Um, so there's a lot to, lot more to this than just what I had to say in this video. Um, obviously, you're going to want to work routes off one another, and so you, you, know, you want to eventually develop routes that go in multiple directions, and that's where we talk about constraint theory. But those are the basic principles, guys. So if you have any questions about beating man-to-man -man coverage in Madden 16, if you'll leave those in the comments below. Uh, once we get the console back, we'll try to give you some more specific play breakdowns to do that. But these are the basic principles. And so you want to look through your playbook and try to find plays similar to this verticals play that's going to allow you to get that natural pick and rub. Hopefully uh, this video was helpful for you guys. But if it wasn't, uh, let me know what I can do to improve. Anyways, guys, thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. And we'll